With change comes opportunity. It's up to you to seize it. The 2015 Cadillac ATS. Purchase this ATS with 0% APR for 36 months. Now to video you will only see on CBS 11. It's part of a lawsuit filed against the Dallas Police Department by two of its own officers. Two men say they were unfairly targeted for trouble for doing the right thing. J.D. Miles is live at DPD headquarters with the story. Kaylee, the allegations raised in this lawsuit, if true, raise serious concerns about the integrity of the Internal Affairs Division. Here, two officers have sued the city, claiming they've been the target of bogus, excessive force violations simply because they turned in a bad officer. Jason Scoggins was just awarded the Medal of Valor. Christopher Warden is a highly decorated Marine. But the two Dallas officers recently spent months on administrative leave and have been transferred to undesirable positions within the department. These are some of the best officers in the entire department. Attorney Chris Livingston says the city should be ashamed of the way the officers have been treated. He's filed a lawsuit claiming the cops were victims of retaliation because they exposed bad behavior by fellow officers. I believe that the actions of the department are going to have a chilling effect on officers. This DPD dash cam video obtained exclusively by CBS 11 News shows Officer Warden at the end of a chase last year involving an active shooter near downtown. The Internal Affairs Division considered his takedown of the suspect as excessive force and recommended a 25-day suspension that Chief David Brown rescinded. Sergeant Scoggins was accused of excessive force involving the arrest of a DWI suspect. Internal Affairs recommended a demotion. Once again, this time on an audio recording, the chief said it wasn't. He made a proper decision. It, it paints a bad light on internal affairs. The two officers believe they were set up because they turned in a fellow officer who, according to this audio recording, allegedly took off his badge and gun to fight a teenager who was mouthing off to him. Officers who see something that has been done wrong are being told, you better not report it because if you do, we're going to punish you for it. Now tonight, department officials declined to comment because there is a lawsuit involved. Even though these officers were cleared of excessive force, they are still off the street where they want to be. And most of all, they want the city to investigate these allegations. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.